A Birthday for Francis by Russell and Lillian Hoban. It was the day before Francis's little sister Gloria's birthday. Mother and Gloria were sitting at the kitchen table, making place cards for the party. Francis was in the broom closet, singing. Happy Thursday to you. Happy Thursday to you. Happy Thursday, dear Alice. Happy Thursday to you. Who is Alice? asked Mother. Alice is somebody that nobody can see, said Francis. And that is why she does not have a birthday. So, I am singing Happy Thursday to her. Today is Friday, said Mother. It is Thursday for Alice, said Francis. Alice will not have HRND, and she will not have GKLS, but we are singing together. What are HRND and GKLS, asked Mother. Cake and candy. I thought you could spell, said Francis. I am sure that Alice will have cake and candy on her birthday, said Mother. But Alice does not have a birthday, said Francis. Yes, she does, said Mother. Even if nobody can see her, Alice has one birthday every year, and so do you. Your birthday is two months from now. Then you will be the birthday girl. But tomorrow is Gloria's birthday, and she will be the birthday girl. That is how it is, Alice, said Francis. Your birthday is always the one that is not now. Francis, said Mother, wouldn't you and Alice like to come out of the broom closet and help us make place cards for the party? Francis came to the table and sat down and picked up a crayon. What are you putting on the place card, she asked. Pretty flowers, said Gloria. Rainbows and happy trees. Francis began to draw on a place card. And as she drew, she sang. A rainbow and a happy tree are not for Alice or for me. I will draw three-legged cats and caterpillars with ugly hats. Frances stopped singing. I'm telling, she said. Telling what, said Mother. Gloria kicked me under the table, said Francis. Mean Francis, said Gloria. Gloria's mean, said Francis. She had my sand pail and my shovel, and I never got them back. That was last year, said Mother. When Gloria is mean, it was always last year, said Francis. But me and Alice know SMFO. What is SMFO, asked Mother. Better, said Francis. Goodbye. I will be out of town visiting Alice for two weeks, and I will be back for dinner. She went to the broom closet and took out her favorite broom. Let's go, champ, she said. I'm ready to ride. Frances climbed onto the broom and galloped out of the kitchen while Mother and Gloria finished the place cards. Then Gloria went out to play while Mother wrapped her presents in the living room. Frances was riding back and forth on her broom on the porch. And as she rode, she sang a song for Alice. Everybody makes a fuss For birthday girls who are not us Girls who take your pail away Eat cake and QPM all day Is QPM ice cream? Mother asked Frances through the window. Yes said Francis. She climbed up on one of the porch rocking chairs and looked through the window at the boxes Mother was wrapping. What is Gloria getting from you and from Father for her birthday, asked Francis. A paint box and a tea set and a plush pig, said Mother. I am not going to give Gloria any present, said Francis. That is all right, said Mother. And Francis began to cry. 
What is the matter? said Mother. Why are you crying? Everybody's giving Gloria a present but me, said Francis. Would you like to give Gloria a present? said Mother. Yes, said Francis. If I had my next two allowances, I would have a nickel and two pennies and another nickel and two pennies, and I could buy a chumpo bar and four bowls of bubble gum for Gloria. I think it is very nice of you to want to give Gloria a birthday present, said Mother. And she gave Francis her next two allowances. That evening, Father took Francis to the candy store to buy a chompo bar and four balls of bubble gum for Gloria. As they walked home, Francis said to Father, Are you sure that it is all right for Gloria to have a whole chompo bar? Maybe she is too young for that kind of candy. Maybe it will make her sick. Well, said Father, I do not think it would be good for Gloria to eat chompo bars every day. But tomorrow is her birthday, and I think it will be all right for her to eat one. Frances thought about Gloria and the chompo bar. And while she thought, she put two of the bubblegum balls into her mouth without noticing it. She chewed the bubble gum and squeezed the chompo bar a little. Chompo bars have a soft nugget part inside, said Francis. And there is a chewy caramel part around that. And the outside is chocolate with nuts. Probably Gloria could not eat more than half of one. Gloria loves sweets, said Father, and I am sure that she can eat the whole chompo bar. That is why it is such a good present for her, and you were very nice to think of it. Yes, said Francis, and I spent two allowances on Gloria. While Francis was thinking about the two allowances, she put the other two balls of bubble gum into her mouth and chewed them, and she squeezed the chompo bar and sang... Chompo bars are nice to get. Chompo bars taste better yet when there's someone else's. You would not eat Gloria's Chompo bar, would you? said Father. There's no Gloria yet, said Francis. I can hardly understand what you are saying, said Father. Is there something in your mouth? I think maybe there is bubble gum, said Francis, but I don't remember how it got there. Maybe I should take care of the chumpo bar until you are ready to give it to Gloria, said Father. All right, said Francis. And she gave the chumpo bar to Father to take care of. The next day was Gloria's birthday, and the party was that afternoon. The cake was ready, the table was all set and Mother was making hot chocolate. There were little baskets of gumdrops and chocolate-covered peanuts for everybody. There were place cards and party poppers for Mother and Father, for Francis and Gloria, for Gloria's friend Ida, and for Francis's friend Albert.